There is no companion that ever fell into innovation. Remember that and memorize that. None of the Sahabas fell into any of the deviated groups. Remember that, okay? Wala any of the Sahabas ever did bid'ah. Are we all together, brothers? That's why we were told to follow the companions. So remember that. But the brother wasn't asking about the companions of the Prophet. I just got, agit I got worried that someone might misunderstand it. If you have a friend that is in these groups, my advice would be to stay away from them. That's my opinion, personally. You do not want to be influenced in having a bad view. Would you be with somebody who supports ISIS? Exactly. So what's the difference between being friends with a person who's Ash'ari? No difference. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Honorable viewers, you've just heard the video um, of Abdul Rahman Hassan. You've heard what he has to say. Um, he says the name of uh, a terrorist organization and then he says that there's no difference between them and the uh, Ash'aris. There's no difference between, friends, uh, between being friends with them and the Ash'aris. Now, <laughs> Allahu Akbar, subhanAllah. Um, you know, you, you, uh, you, what can I say? I mean, you reply to ilm with ilm. Is this the tongue of a person who is academic? Is this the tongue of a man of knowledge? Nowhere near. But once again, uh, a challenge to Abdul Rahman Hassan, uh, as always, that you speaking about people of innovation, we have said time and again, that your belief, um, the belief of your forefathers, and in particular, um, <clears throat> forefathers meaning metaphorically, um, in, in ilm and those who you've taken uh, your um, manhaj and your uh, aqidah uh, from, and those who, you know, whose, whose teachings you go by, and in particular, uh, Sheikh Ibn Uthaymeen, believe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sits upon the arsh, the sitting upon the arsh um, is not uh, uh, an Islamic belief. It's not the belief that is in line with the beliefs of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah and Islam, Quran and Sunnah. Rather, it's the belief uh, of the Christians and it is found in the Bible. As I have said in my last video, uh, the link of which I will post, inshallah, in the description and the um, comments. And this is... Once again, you know, a message to, to, to the public out there that look how unjust these people are. Look how low they go uh, because of their hatred for people of the, 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 the um, what they consider to be people upon batil, uh, the Ashaira, the Maturidiyah, which the majority of the ulama of the history of Islam were upon and this is a manhaj of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Here we have, my brothers, one box headed graduate of Medina University. Now, I'm not saying every graduate of Medina University, I know graduates of Medina University that are on the right path, that are very fair, that are, you know, uh, um, um, just and academically upright. But here you have people like this who, in a sweeping statement, compare. Asha'ira, who are the majority of the Muslim world throughout Islamic history and Muslim scholarship, right? And great scholars of hadith and tafsir and, you know, our even our asanid are not complete without having the Asha'ira in the chains. And here we have a man who is linking an organization that is, that is a terrorist group with the Asha'ira and saying being friends with them is like being friends with them. Subhanallah. Whereas another point here is we have Brother Haji, Bro Haji, and he's done, you know, in-depth work because we've not looked um, and we've not gone into those lines of going into the history of Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab. But he's, you know, covered that in his episodes and series. And he's made clear that the pseudo Salafis, the box headed ones, their ideology actually comes and stems from Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab. And then he's even referred to this terrorist organization that Abdul Rahman Hassan is referring to 
as being um, uh, 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 you know an offshoot or a result sorry a result of the, the, the methodology of Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab so when this terrorist organization stems from your own forefathers um, brother Abdul Rahman Hassan you know with what face are you saying being uh, friends with them is like being friends with them whereas the Ashaira are an academic you know a, a theological a, a group of, of people a large segment of this Ummah within Ahlul Sunnah Wal Jama'ah who discuss issues related and pertaining to Aqaid on and you are comparing them right who are scattered throughout Islamic history and who are the majority of the Ummah you are comparing them to these people who are just you know who have just come recently and are plastered all over the news Subhanallah, is this the tongue of a man of knowledge? Allahu Akbar, Abdurrahman Hassan, I say that you are only making yourself look like a fool. Wallahi. You know, before this, I had some level of respect for you. Um, that, you know, you, you, you have studied some books and you are a graduate of Medina University. But Wallahi, I've lost that respect. I swear by Allah, I've lost that respect regarding you. And like I said, Sheikh Ibn al-Uthaymeen and other stalwarts of your manhaj of Aqeedah, Salafi, Pseudo-Salafi, Wahhabi Aqeedah, believe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sits upon the throne. Um, I've challenged this again and again and again. Just look at the Salafi playlist on our channel and none of the senior Salafis are coming out to discuss this. This is not an Islamic belief. Defend your forefathers from this belief, which we are claiming and proving is a Christian belief. And Abu Mus'ab even tried to say Sheikh Ibn Uthaymeen didn't believe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sits upon the arsh. And I asked him to prove that Ibn Uthaymeen negated and rejected this belief. And I will follow that up with affirming it authentically from Ibn Uthaymeen, but he couldn't do so. And then after affirming it, we can have a discussion on it. That this is not Islamic belief. It's got no roots in Islam, Quran, Sunnah, and the statements of Sahaba. It's got no roots in um, pure Aqeedah and wherever it may be. It's got no roots. So according to uh, Salafi Usul, this cannot be pseudo Salafi Usul. This cannot be an Islamic belief. Yet your forefathers believed in it. Allahu Akbar. Christian belief from the qualities and the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Abdul Rahman Hassan, pluck up the courage, come forward and let's discuss inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.